The Arctic fox can tolerate temperatures down to minus 70 degrees Celsius by shunting blood flow away from its legs to maintain body heat. Its sensitive nose helps sniff out victims of the harsh weather. But for the Arctic's largest herbivore, it's just another day. Even musk oxen calves shrug off extreme cold. The oxen spend winter here, braving temperatures down to minus 40 degrees. A shaggy top coat hides a thick insulating layer called kivut, the lightest, warmest wool in the world. Once extinct here, musk oxen were reintroduced in the mid-70s and now flourish. Finally, the ground around the snow goose colony thaws. But their troubles aren't over. A ripple goes through as a wolf passes. They need to eat about three kilos of food a day. And a couple of geese would provide that nicely. So the birds keep a very close watch on the predator. Putting nesting disputes aside, they unite against a common enemy. The hunter hunted. There are just too many angry birds for one wolf to take on. The geese keep a sharp eye out. Not all predators are so easily intimidated. Arctic foxes raid the nests daily. The gander stands guard, but the fox, molting its winter white, slips through. In the cold snap, some geese abandoned nests and eggs, leaving easy pickings. When food is plentiful, he'll stash some for leaner times. He could dig hundreds of hiding places for individual eggs, or he might make a cache of several in one place. In the cold tundra ground, eggs stay edible for months. But once he's looted the abandoned nests, he turns his attention elsewhere. The fox tests the resolve of the ganders. If one of them wavers, the predator makes his move. Victory. The fox can only carry one egg at a time, but success breeds success, and he won't stop now. Now, just one egg remains. A single fox may steal up to 3,000 eggs in a breeding season. Adding insult to injury, it marks its territory by defecating. A signal for others to stay away from its precious cash sites.